Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Easy C Productions. Good morning. Today's July 12th. It is about 11:30 in the morning. And I wanted to make a short video because we've had earthquakes. Pacific Northwest has had earthquakes. Let's see. I wanted to show you this is the PNSN website where you can easily go in there and check out all the earthquakes that are going out going on around us in Pacific Northwest. All right. So Seattle had big earthquakes last night at two towards Seattle, should I say it's two miles from Monroe, 251 in the morning. Um, we had 4.6 earthquake. I did have a viewer um, go on my channel and ask what the ridge looked like. So that's what we're going to look at, look at today. Okay, so anything in the last two days is orange. Anything in the last two hours is red. The yellow were more than two weeks or about in the last two weeks and this is true this is july 5th this was near yakima and let's see what seattle near seattle there's the 4.6 and then riddled with many many more Um, let's see, 4.6, 0.4, and the list goes on. And with the screen, okay, 3.5, and all these went out, it says a depth of 19 miles. So we are too far to feel that. But we did get one, 2.5 at about 10, 10 in the morning, if I'm reading that right. Okay, now let's take a look at the ridge because we do have some activity. Um, unfortunately, since the earthquake in Seattle happened at 2 in the morning, you won't be able to see because it's too dark, but let's just look at it at a 12-hour time lapse. Fall there, southwest corner. And there were some rock falls up on the north. Okay, let's try, let's see what six hours time lapse looks like. There was one there, and that was about five in the morning. I'm not sure if you can hear noise in the background. I do have my dog who's crying. <laughs> and then this is the southern, southern. We have some rock falls there. And then we have some up here. So a lot of activity, but on this side, on the west face, pretty cool. Okay, so I think this is the six hour time lapse, is that correct? Now we'll do the three hour. Thank you. 
right there. Oh, and yesterday I was driving back, went to Yakima, and on I-82, I was able to witness some rock falls on the west face, and I was super excited, but I didn't have time to get my camera out and record. But I did capture some video from I-82, east and westbound. Um, I'll go ahead and add those clips to the end of this video. Be sure to check it out. And also, please remember, if you like what I'm doing, you like my channel, you like my videos, click like. And click on the notification bell. And also subscribe. Okay, so this is one hour ago. I have a busy house right now. I have a friend who's over and she's waiting for me so we could paint. Because I'm still taking, I'm still off of work, um, at home, resting. I did notice some uh, different kind of swelling on my leg yesterday, which was weird. But anyway, let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> so one hour ago time lapse and I think the saw some activity at 1030 so I don't think it'll capture because it's one hour ago Okay, let's see what 15 minutes ago looked like. So activities that I think I, that was more active was five in the morning, seven in the morning, and about 10 in the morning, 10-ish. Okay, let's see. Let's do one more at, gosh, we have to do the six hour. It just goes too fast. It's almost like I gotta slow it down. <laughs> Some here and here. Let's make this zoom in a little bit more. And that's what the ridge looks like now. All right, I think that's it. Stay tuned for um, some recordings of driving near the ridge and some images. Thanks to all the ongoing support and all the viewers that I have that are actually subscribed <laughs> or anyone who's interested in doing, you know, what I'm doing on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and for your ongoing support. This is Cindy with EZC Productions. Until next time.